Hey all, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are unboxing something exciting. Um, a Renew Premium Apple Watch Ultra uh, that I bought from Amazon. So as you know, I've been using the Apple Watch Series 7 for a while now and I was considering an upgrade to the Series 10 initially. Uh, but after looking at the uh, specs and the ads, I realized there wasn't much of a difference compared to my old Apple Watch Series 7. So I decided to try out um, the Apple Watch Ultra instead. And especially I found this a good deal with the Renew Premium Options on Amazon uh, for around 450 bucks. So uh, that's that. Let's open the box and see what's inside. So yeah, it comes in a simple white generic box wrapped in a plastic. So yeah, it does not come in an Apple uh, packaging. Um, as you can see, the label says it is an Apple Watch Ultra 49mm titanium with the ocean band. And it is the renewed premium version. Okay, so right on top, uh, we see the Amazon renewed certified letter. Okay, so this is kind of a, a sign that it's really a renewed product from Amazon. Um, this letter certifies that the product has been inspected, tested, and certified to work like new. And I think it gives you like a peace of mind knowing that you know it is like a real renew from amazon and now that's that and now time to see uh, the product now i think this white box here is where the apple watch ultra is um, but for now let's just put this aside and see what else we have inside so here we also have the ocean band uh, specifically the midnight ocean band um, honestly i maybe prefer more uh, toward the uh, um, trial loops or other type of band but I'll try it out okay now let's open the main box and see the watch um, okay first thing we see here is the charger um, it is using a braided cable which is a is a nice touch for like uh, maybe durability and I like it a lot um, and here's the watch itself still wrapped in paper so let's uh, unwrap it and take a closer look Um, well, I have to say, I think it is in uh, pristine conditions. Uh, I couldn't see any scratches on the screen or the body. And honestly, it looks perfect, just like new. Um, I'm trying to look into all this side here. And it is, uh, I think it's a, it's a very good uh, shape. It's just basically like buying a new uh, watch. Okay, I think overall, first impressions. I am pretty happy with this purchase. I think the Apple Watch here even though it's like a renew, uh, you know, status, it feels like a, a new device. Um, there's really no any defects or scratches, at least uh, in a, like in a first impression here. But um, I'm really happy with the purchase. Um, let's turn it on and see if it has some battery in it. Um, well, unfortunately, I think there's no battery here right now, so. So what I'm going to do, uh, I will charge it up and get it set up as well. And uh, I'll be back when everything is uh, ready. Uh, see you in a bit. All right, now the Apple Watch Ultra is fully charged and set up. Uh, let's take a quick look at how it runs. Um, just playing around here and uh, everything works fine so far. I think touch screen works. Um, and you see here the apps are still downloading in the background, but I think everything works okay. Here I'm trying out a few different watch faces and there's this new Flux watch face that just released and I would say it looks uh, kind of interesting. But now let's see what we all care about especially when you buying a renewed device especially the Apple Watch uh, which is the battery health. Um, and as you can see here you know the battery health here is at 100%. Uh, which is very nice so this is basically like buying a brand new apple watch ultra okay now let's take a closer look at the band um, it is the midnight ocean band which has a nice design i guess it has like a tubular shape in it what also interesting here is there's this metal clip here and i guess i think it is for securing the end part of the band so now i'm wearing this watch right now um i gotta say it feels quite nice on the wrist um, 
it is definitely bigger than my 41 millimeter apple watch series 7 um, but i think what makes it feel big is just how large the screen is um, and here is how it fits on my 160 millimeter wrist Overall, I think it fits okay, but I can see how it might be too big for a smaller wrist. And maybe that's why Apple has this new Series 10, which has, you know, a bigger screen, but in more like a smaller form factor. Anyway, I'm going to wear this watch for a few days and see how it compares to my Series 7 and my other watches and how it fits in my daily life. And if you want to hear more about my experience or how I liking it or not, uh, let me know by liking the video and subscribing. Um, uh, thanks for watching all. Bye.